My name is Shabnam Sukhdev. Um, I'm the daughter of the late uh, filmmaker S. Sukhdev. Um, I'm here today uh, representing him uh, on behalf of the film that he made, Nine Months to Freedom. It gives me great pleasure and it's a great honor to be doing so because it's very late in life that I realized um, what kind of a filmmaker he was, what kind of work that he did. And this piece, uh, Nine Months to Freedom, was his most important work. That is something that I realized while I was studying his work. Uh, I was too young, of course, at that time, but I do remember my mother feeling very afraid for him. And uh, all his friends said that, uh, don't think you should be going there. So he did take a motley crew with him, who eventually ran away, and he was left alone with the camera. You know, and uh, he later thanked a friend of his called Jatin Das, because he had borrowed his sunglasses. So while shooting, he used to put his glasses over his head. Those glasses fell and he bent down to pick up those glasses and bullets went above his, you know, above the camera. So he, you know, thanked him. The Jatin, you saved my life while I was shooting. So he did risk his life. But I don't think my father at that time, um, which of course I've learned from his friends, um, realized the gravity of the situation. When he jumped into something, it was purely out of passion, out of an impulse, which pushed him forward, you know, to do what he did. He never thought of consequences, you know. So he was a true Sardar, you know, as they say, he was a real Jat and he worked with his heart. That really drove him into his filmmaking. I think it was, um, it was the extent of human suffering that drove him. That was his original impulse. Uh, the uh, unjust, the injustice meted out on the, on a people. That really drove him, and he really felt he needed to do something about it. And I mean, if he could help it, he would just stop it all. But the only tool he had was his camera, so he tried to do it through his film. But he was um, he was married to his work. He was married. His that was his life. In fact, in one of the interviews that I've taken of his friends, you know, very dear friends called Pratap Sharma, he says um, work and play were the same thing for him. When the work ended and the play started, you know, there was. And for that, uh, the family had to suffer a lot. Nine Months to Freedom was his landmark movie, undoubtedly. I mean, that really marked him as a filmmaker internationally too. And um, I, I think none of his other works are as, um, you know, marked or uh, intense as this particular film. This was one of his longest, it was his longest film, in fact, 70 minute long. And he had exposed a lot. You know, I mean, I'm just imagining the kind of, Editing the, the footage, he had around some 70,000 feet, or God knows how much, of uh, film. And he was sitting and editing and marking at his editing table, which was in the house. He worked at home. So, what a lonely process. I mean, he edited it himself. He did approach Films Division uh, at the time to get some funding and some uh, support and some access uh, to film the war. And they didn't want it to be a film about the war, but about just about the refugees, you know, the help that India was giving uh, Bangladesh, you know, so to speak, to save the nation. But my father had a different thought about that. He said, I cannot restrict myself to that, and I have to make the film I think I want to make. So he just jumped into the war. Uh, he uh, borrowed some money. He might have raised some funds from friends, maybe from so got some bank loans at that time and he just jumped into it. It was only later that after the film was made and he showed the film to uh, Mrs. Indira Gandhi, who spoke uh, very highly of the documentation and the way he had put the film together, that Films Division came into the picture and they acquired the film. And that kind of, in a way, saved him you know, from debts and uh, other things. But he did take the film to many international platforms. He raised a lot of consciousness about uh, the conditions here. And I think he was, in a way, instrumental in his own way, you know, through this film, to raise some funding and some attention, international attention, to the issues over here. In fact, uh, the Nine Months to Freedom, a 70-minute long documentary, uh, is perhaps the only film that was theatrically released in a commercial theatre at the Ross Cinema in Mumbai. And it got the support of a lot of uh, celebrities uh, from Bollywood, like Sunil Dat, Nargis, uh, there was Nandini Satpati, the then minister. She also came down for the, uh, you know, the release of the film in a theatre. And I believe it did run to full houses for the weekend. I mean, I have photographs of that, and I, which I can share with you. Um, and um, 
And there, that's the forum where my father actually spoke and he said, these are the kind of films as responsible filmmakers we need to make for audiences, you know, and not just uh, give them the trash uh, or the dreams that they are seeking, but the reality that we are living in. So we become more conscious and conscientious human beings. So that, that's, I have that speech also, which I will share with you. He was very advanced in his thinking, you know, and he was really living in the future. Because today you see documentaries like made by Michael Moore, you know, and they're like, you know, released in theaters, you know. Today documentary has a different place. But I think he had started that trend long ago. Uh, even the uh, documentarian as, an, uh, as a protagonist in his film, he was present in a lot of his films, you know. If I'm, I'm studying his work, so he liked being in front of the camera as well. It wasn't just from behind. He was very much present in his films, and uh, a lot of the narratives were first-person narratives, not the voice of God. Uh, today, I feel so proud that I can be here, and up close looking at the history of the Civil War. It uh, pained me a lot, and now I realize his pain, you know, when he was here, what he went through. There's an anecdote which a lot of his friends would say, you know, he said, what did you really gain by going to Bangladesh? You know, why did you do this film? He says, I gained a heart attack and several months of depression. That's what he went through. And he was proud, proud for that.